Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode in my YouTube series, Point and Click Adventures. In this series, we will embark on immersive journeys through some of the most captivating and intriguing point and click games, one of my favourite genres. Our adventure begins with the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, a mysterious and atmospheric game that promises to uncover secrets buried deep within the ancient barrow. Join me as we delve into this enigmatic world, solve intricate puzzles and uncover the hidden truths of Hobbs Barrow. I'll be dipping in and out throughout this video with non-intrusive commentary not to pull away from the immersion. Sit back and I hope you enjoy. <coughs> Ah, Miss Bateman. Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. We'll catch your death out here. So I grew up playing point and click games, the likes of Monkey Island and Broken Sword. So I'm quite excited to start this one. I got it quite cheap as well. I believe it's only 39p on CD keys at the moment. So definitely worth checking out. Dearest mother, I hope this letter will reach you. I have spent these past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension, but I beg for your patience. I will endeavour to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. The letter brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. No station master in sight. I hope the village isn't too far away. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. So after that brilliant intro, we've, we've now arrived in Bewley. So we just need to find out what we need to do next. We've got a quick introduction of the buttons. I'm playing this with a mouse. So this will be if you're playing handheld on the deck or if you're playing with a controller. So yeah, let's continue. Let's find out what we need to do and see where this story takes us. This The thing about I love about point and click games is there's no real help. It's all about trying to figure it out yourself, which is one of the best ways to play games, in my opinion. I must make my way to the plough and furrow inn. I swear she was not standing there a moment ago. Excuse me? Yes? 
I'm looking for the Plough and Furrow Inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady. Leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight ahead and you'll find the Market Square. The inn is to the side at Square. Thank you very much. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am. But I don't live in the village. Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Quite. Apologies. I wish you a pleasant journey. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? Hello there. Uh, what brings you to Bewley? I beg your pardon? What brings you to Bewley, miss? I'm here to visit a local landmark, Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Barrow? Well, I can't say I've heard of it. For what reason? I wish to excavate it. Grave robber, are you? Not at all. I merely have an interest in antiquities. Not much to be found in Bewley, if you ask me. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Can't say I didn't warn you. That was odd. The old woman told me to go straight ahead to get to the inn. I'll have time to explore tomorrow. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. Beating raw metal into a fine object is an admirable skill. The cobbler's is closed. Plough and furrow. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. Hello there. What's the young lady doing out alone in this sodden weather? I'm heading to the plough and furrow. Bloody good pub, that's... It has the finest ales in the whole county. Oh, I'll take you there if you like. Uh, I believe we are standing directly in front of it. Oh, so we are. Please. Yes. Give us a kiss now, won't you? It's hard to refuse such an elegant offer, but I simply must go and freshen up first. I've had a long journey today. Of course, lass. Now would you please let me pass? I'm getting soaked. Sorry, lass. Sorry. I'll come back to find you later. What a buffoon. I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? I am in need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. Aye, it is not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? 
Thomasina Bateman. And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Beely tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. Just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. This shall do nicely. Time to change into something more comfortable. Much better. I've stored my case in there, a box within a box. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. There's only one match left, though. As the only light source in the room, I ought to leave this here. I don't wish to take it. This may come in handy. I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. I don't want to take the painting with me. Good afternoon, sir. Note for your ear. I beg your pardon? I said there's no for you here, lass. Be on your way. Charming. Good day, sir. Hello, sir. What? I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Hello, sir. Hi. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. You've come on that bloody train, haven't you? Bewley's going to dogs. My name is Thomasina Bateman, and you are... None of your business, lass. Where's your husband? None of your business, sir. Ha! You're brave coming in here, all on your own. I'm a grown woman. I'm Cyril. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cyril. Do you know Mr. Shoulder? That'd be none of your business, lass. I don't come to your city poking around asking questions, do I? Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. I take it you are not enamoured with the railway station? Mule is going to be swarming with outsiders, like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lass. Why not? This is our town, our land. I assure you, I am not here to cause trouble. We'll see about that, won't we? What can you tell me about Bewley? We're a proud community. I've lived here my whole life. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me? Aye. Bye for now. Ta-da, lass. I do not need to use the lavatory. Miss Bateman, you've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate? Most adequate. Excellent. I'm looking for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Aye, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. 
Have you now? You found yourself an admirer. <laughs> Not quite. What business do you have with Lord Leonard then? Well, if you must know, I am what some people call a barrow digger. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? Are you familiar with tumuli? Afraid not. Barrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. You've lost me. I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, I? You're a grave robber. I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find, then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures, certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh, aye. Very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley. A site called Hobbs Barrow. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St Edmund's Church is a fine building, worth a visit. Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. The more stretch further than the eyes can see when you leave this village, there's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulder said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Why are you interested in digging around in the dirt, lass? Haven't you better things to do with your time? I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a Barrow digger too, eh? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now, on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Kemp. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Saved up my coin and bought this place. It's a fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. Thanks for your time. As you were. Mr. Shoulder should really be here by now. I'll sit down and wait. Where on earth is he? What a waste of time this is turning out to be. Evening there, miss. Not you again. I just wanted to apologise for earlier. Looks like you freshened up, but I know I won't be getting that kiss. You're quite right. I were a fool for how I carried on. I'm sorry. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? My name is Arthur Tillett. Thomasina Bateman. What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Perhaps you know the gentleman, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Oh, I know Mr. Shoulder all right. If I may be so bold as to say, he's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about the old sod. Must I really buy you a drink for- Please. 
Are you sure it's wise to have another? Please, don't you want to hear about old Leonard's shoulder? You drive a hard bargain, Mr. Tillett. As you wish. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. How can I help you? A tankard of your finest ale, Mr. Kemp. There we are. Two pence, please. Thank you. This was the last of my money, but Kenneth will be here tomorrow with more funds. Here you are, Arthur. Thanking you. Oh, that hits the spot that does, lass. Now then. Old Len. Leonard Shaw. <laughs> Arthur? Mr. Tillett? Oh, for heaven's sake! The man is in a drunken stupor. Mr. Tillett? He's not dead. Just very drunk. I would still like to hear what he has to say about Mr. Shoulder. What the hell was that for? You passed out, Mr. Tillett. Oh, sorry, lass. Where were I? Leonard's shoulder. Hold on another minute. I'm making for a piss. This man is unbelievable. Feels like an hour has passed. Perhaps I should go in there and check on him. Miss Bateman? My apologies. The ladies are closed due to faulty plumbing. You'll have to use the gents. Lovely. Mr. Tillett? Mr. Tillett? Mr. Tillett, are you in there? Mr. Tillett, are you in there? Well, you're not Mr. Tillett. The water looks highly questionable. I ought to keep my hands out of it. Looks like the towel has not been washed in months. The jug is empty. I'd rather not touch it. The thing stinks to high heaven. The door opens a crack, but appears to be blocked from the other side. I think I can hear someone moving around. Mr. Tillett? Arthur, are you out there? Judging from the draft coming from below, this door must lead outside. I should investigate further. I can't reach the window from down here. The mirror is coated in a thick layer of grime. Some excavations are best left to others. How can I help you? There's a door to the outside in the gents' lavatories. Why is it bolted? That door doesn't even have a lock. So you didn't lock the door? I don't know what you're talking about. Have you seen Arthur Tillett? I thought he were with you. He went to the lavatory and has not returned. 
That sounds like Arthur Tillett. Don't worry, lass. He'll be back. Thanks for your time. As you were. Excuse me, sir. Sir? The old man has disappeared into the darkness. I'd best turn back to the inn. I don't wish to go knocking door to door. wedged the door shut. Mr. Tillett, why would he have done that? Did Mr. Tillett leave, then block the door behind him? Something strange is going on here. A pearly white gent's glove. It's certainly unlike anything Mr. Tillett was wearing. rather out of place here. Peculiar. I suspect the barrels are empty, otherwise the locals will be rolling them into their cellars. Last orders! I should get some sleep. Finding the missing men of Beaulieu shall have to wait for tomorrow. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Good evening, sir. Kenneth will be arriving tomorrow at midday. I should get some sleep. The inn is closing soon. And no, Mr. Shoulder. I should get some sleep and find him tomorrow. A lovely place to warm oneself. The poor thing. I don't want to take the painting with me. I don't want to take the painting with me. Kenneth will be arriving tomorrow at midday. I should get some sleep. Yes, I must get some sleep. I shall track down Mr. Shoulder tomorrow. Miss Bateman? Yes? Off to bed? Yes. I'm afraid Mr. Shoulder has let me down. The rotter. Perhaps he will make himself known tomorrow. I should hope so. This is turning into a waste of my time. Ah, don't mind the locals, miss. It's just that we don't get a lot of visitors in Bewley. Quite. They mean well. Believe me. Sure, Mr. Kemp. Please, call me Stanley. Good night, Stanley. Sleep well, Miss Bateman.
such horrid dreams. Bolted from the inside, just as I left it last night. Hmm. As I suspected, I must have dreamt of that wretched looking cat. I must say I'm relieved. Right then. Let's see if I can track down the elusive Leonard's shoulder. I'm rather anxious to get to this barrow. I also wonder what happened to Mr. Tillett. Jammed shut. The wood must have walked over the years. Good morning, Miss Bateman. Good day, Stanley. Did you sleep well, Miss Bateman? Not really. I have the rather queer recollection of a cat entering my room last night. A cat, you say? Yes, an odd-looking grey one. I must have been dreaming as I locked the door and windows before I went to sleep. I saw a similar cat in the lavatories while searching for Mr Tillett. Ah, Herbert. Oh, he's a harmless thing. He comes in now and then searching for scraps. Indeed. Seeing him in the lavatories must have conjured up the strange dream. The mind is capable of manifesting frightful things, Miss Bateman. I'm happy to report the rain of yesterday has lifted. It's a clear morning outside. Crisp. I've prepared a room for your assistant. What time will he be arriving today? His train will get in around midday. Kenneth will also be bringing my excavation equipment. Oh, I. What does that entail? Picks, shovels, buckets, lighting and such. He usually packs it in a large crate. Come to think of it, I'll need somewhere to store it. You're welcome to use the alley behind the inn for any such bulky items. Is it safe to do such a thing? I can assure you the local folk are not thieves, Miss Bateman. That's not what I... Now, now, say nothing more of it. Thank you, Stanley. I'll let you get on with your day. I'll be back with my assistant when he arrives. Miss Bateman? Yes? I've something I wish to get off my chest, as it were. I've been tossing and turning all night, Miss Bateman. I feel rotten, I really do. What on earth are you talking about? As you know, I like to run an honest establishment. And well, I have not been honest with you, lass. I do know of Hobbs Barrow. You do? I do. Many here do. There are stories tied to that place, you know. If I've learned anything in this life, it's that some stones are best left unturned. Old Leonard's shoulder is someone to be wary of too. I can't tell you what to do, lass, but you'd best avoid him. Why lie to me about Hobbs Barrow? I know, lass, I know. I feel dreadful. But why? What are these stories you speak of? I really can't tell you more. If you insist on visiting that place, you'll have to seek out Mr. Shoulder. He brought you here. He should be the one to tell you. I must say, Mr. Kemp, this is all quite puzzling. I've never let local superstitions stop me in the past. I pride myself on being a woman of logic and reason. I have no time to waste on such matters. As I say, seek out Mr. Shoulder. He can tell you more. Why must I be wary of Mr. Shoulder? The man has a certain reputation. For what? You've seen it already. Were he here to meet you last night? No. Precisely. A man not to be trusted. Where is Hobbs Barrow? I don't know. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Hmm. I now find that hard to believe. The moors are vast, lass. I tend not to go wandering out there. A grown man could lose himself and not be seen again. Hmm. 
Where does Mr. Shoulder live? I can't say for sure. As I think I told you last night, he's a quiet man and keeps to himself. He only comes in here to collect his post, leads me to believe he lives a fair distance away. And certainly not in the village itself. Might someone around Bewley be able to help me find him? You could ask around. As I say, lass, Bewley folk mean well. Don't forget that. I shall return later. Good day to you, lass. It seems I may be fighting a battle against some sort of local superstition. Is there a single barrow in England that doesn't have some ghastly tale attached to it? Hogwash. All of it. I have a few hours until Kenneth arrives. I should use this time to find Mr. Shoulder. So we'll leave it there for our first episode in this mini-series of point-and-click adventures with the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've played this game, if you're thinking of playing this game. What point-and-click games would you like to see on the channel? I'm all ears. Uh, I absolutely love this genre and really having a good time with this one. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out more. And I'll see you next time. I've been Arhempai. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.